Welcome to another Black History clip, Grace Towns Hamilton. Grace Towns Hamilton was the first Black woman elected to the Georgia General Assembly. Grace Towns Hamilton was born in Atlanta on February 10, 1907. She was the eldest of four children of Harriet McNair and George Alexander Towns. Her father was the son of a former slave and the grandson of the unacknowledged half-brother of George Washington Towns, who was a Georgia governor. She was educated from grade school through college at Atlanta University. Grace graduated with a bachelor's degree in 1927 from Atlanta University. She then transferred to The Ohio State University for graduate study in psychology and graduated in 1929. After receiving her master's degree, Grace returned to Atlanta to teach at Clark College and the Atlanta School of Social Work. In 1930, she married Henry Cook Hamilton. Henry was a faculty member of Lemoyne College in Memphis, Tennessee. The couple lived in Memphis for a decade. They had their only child, Eleanor, there in 1931. In 1941, her husband became head of Atlanta University's high school program. They both returned to Atlanta. In 1943, Grace was appointed the executive director of the Atlanta Urban League, becoming one of the earliest women to hold that position post. Although Grace successfully worked to improve conditions within the Black community, she chose to sidestep the issue of segregation, which eventually brought her into conflict with other organization leaders, and in 1961, she lost her post. Fast forward a bit, there was a special primary election in May of 1965, where she captured the Democratic nomination for state representative for Atlanta's 31st district. She was sworn in January of 1966, making her the first black woman elected to the Georgia General Assembly. In 1972, when Andrew Young was elected to Congress to represent Atlanta's 5th District, he credited Grace for his election. Notable, he was the first black person from Georgia to win a seat in Congress since 1870. In 1980, after a census and reapportionment battle, Grace decided to align herself with white leadership against militant young African Americans who sought to use the new electoral law to gain a sure seat for their candidate in the 5th Georgia Congressional District. Her stance outraged the Black community, and that resulted in her defeat in the 1984 election. Grace was disappointed, but she remained engaged. She served as advisor to the U.S. Civil Rights Commission from January 1985 to January 1987. Grace Towns Hamilton died June 17, 1992, at the age of 85. Be sure to follow us across social media at Typical Black Women. You can find our website, typicalblackwomen.com. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and share this playlist.